Bill Henshaw here, another one of my current videos, uh, not directly on the COVID crap, but very much related to it, although it wouldn't initially look that way. And that's the case with the, you know, the Minnesota murder up there, George Floyd. And we now hear days later that maybe these three other thugs are going to get charged, which they should be, and at least second degree murder. Who the hell knows what third degree is, and they're going to get manslaughter. It's going to look a lot like Johannes Mesley out here who killed Oscar Grant in a bark station here locally and got two months and let out early on good behavior. You have a fucking break here. Okay, what should happen, and the mantra is with these damn civil rights cases, and all you civil rights advocates, get the hell off the bandwagon. Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, ACLU, SPLC, NAACP, quit. None of you gained a damn thing from the ratification of the 14th Amendment. My work proves it. History proves it. You can't get anywhere with that. You know, just that you're, and the only difference is now, instead of you being slaves in the South, we're all slaves throughout the entire nation. We have no rights that de facto national socialist government is bound to respect. That's a fact. That's why this crap happens, because you don't have any clearly recognized rights you know, not to be killed like what happened up there to Mr. Floyd. I mean, that's not obvious, but it's perspective, people. Once you know what I have learned and can teach you, get a hold of my materials and teach yourself. Send me an email, youwinincourt at gmail.com, and I'll send you information. Now you learn, for example, there are no states. I've got an 82-page unopposed brief on that issue. With no states, there are no state courts. There are nothing but federal legislative territorial tribunals that don't have any jurisdiction over anyone with the possible exception of Bill Gates and Microsoft. That's how it's supposed to work. If that's the case, then it was clearly recognizable that these cops couldn't have hauled Mr. Floyd into a court that had any jurisdiction. It would have been summarily dismissed as it should be at common law. Therefore, they're guilty as sin. They weren't acting in an official capacity, and they should all pay for it as fully as the law allows and what a jury decides. Got a good case I'll talk about in a later video called Bad Elk v. United States, 177 U.S. 529, where the Supreme Court basically recognized everything I said here. Damn, it's about time to change. Get rid of this mindless mayhem done, by the way, by a lot of paid protesters. And who in the hell is paying these protesters? Is that you, SPLC, Jesse, Al, the CIA, NSA? We don't know, but the net effect is it gives the government exactly what it wants, at least on a temporary basis, to declare overt martial law and be done with it and get away with it if you don't know what you're doing. So I'm telling you, and by the way, a lot of people would probably recognize me, including you, Al and Jesse, as a flaming white supremacist. And I might be, but those are the issues that win. And that's how I beat the hell out of them in South Carolina, alone from a jail cell in my felony case. And it wasn't close. These are the issues we need to start raising. It's how to beat them and get this nation back where it should be. That said, all of you remember to like my videos, subscribe, tell your friends, get the word out. If we have a constitution still in place, we can beat the hell out of these bastards. Thank you.